Terry Phillips, tonight's runner-up, both late model and modifieds. Let's start first with the modified. Um, did you think you'd be able to get around Sanders there, uh, or was he just that much better when you showed yourself to him? Yeah, he was He was pretty good. I could have uh, probably put a slide job or wrecked him or something, passed him or something, thought about it. But anyway, uh, uh, no, nah, I'd race some clean stuff. He's just better than me. I was trying some stuff. Not, I haven't run my modified a whole lot, so this is a brand-new car and went down there to Vivian and, and done well. But I thought I need to try some stuff while we was out before some of these bigger races. So. Uh, one way it helped, another way it didn't. The track was too rough for what I did, so uh, we learned something. And it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good enough to win, so uh, good to get second out of that. And late model, real happy about just uh, uh, kind of went back to basic on some setup. And, and you know, when you got three race cars here, you don't mess with it much. That's probably the best thing. But uh, uh, now we're real happy with, with this rocket chassis. It's been good. Got a new new Hatfield engine in it here and it, it really run well so we had carburetor issue qualifying so it kind of put us behind a little bit wasn't as bad as I thought but it seemed bad but uh we got carburetor uh, you know uh changed and everything run real well so uh happy with the car motor and all these guys these this help of mine that's they worked their tails off tonight we got three or four guys working on three cars so I hit hit the wall on the modified, knocked the deck out of it, and always give them, you know, something to do in the pits, so in case they, you know, don't get bored or something. But uh, but anyway, it, it it worked out pretty good for us tonight. As of last week, you were in the midst of your best late model season since 2010. Your nine wins this year, uh, that's a pretty strong statement. But uh, do you think that the second place run against this caliber competition says just as much as those? Uh, in a way, yeah. I mean, I like to win. That's why I come. But uh, and, you know, and I race against good racers. You know, uh, a lot of these guys that I race against all the time are running up front with these guys too. So, uh, but when you start that four back and pass some of them guys, you know, it does make you feel good. So, you know, and even getting mentioned in lap times, they keep talking about better than Jimmy or whatever. But I'm, I'm sure he had another gear to put in, so um, he could have he could have probably went a little faster. But, uh, but I mean, it's good to be in that conversation and 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 running well. So. Middle portion of the race, you were uh, trying to roll the bottom a little bit. Car looked, and, and your lap time said it, that you were much faster on the top. Could you tell that? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just cars in the way. The, the, the track was, it was unique, I guess you'd say. It, it uh, The bottom, if you hit it right, was fast, but it's hard to hit it right and hustle the car to pass a car. It's hard to pass cars. But up at the top, by myself, I could really make good time, you know, good laps. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, this track's always been good to me, and it's got a lot of different lines and characters. Even if you don't run the fast line, you still pass a car, you know. So, um, you know, um, good run tonight, good racetrack. I love coming here. 